Monday night means it's time for an all new adulting hack. This is the series where we consult the experts on things that we all need to know about, but might need a little bit of help with. Tonight we're talking meat from how to pick it out at the grocery store or the butcher shop to how you should transport it. RJ Marquez spoke with the folks at Bolner's Meat Market to share some tips. What's up guys, time for another Adulting Hacks on KSAT News at 9. I'm RJ and with me is Joe Doria. He is the market manager at Bolner's Meat Company, of course, the San Antonio institution. And today we're gonna talk to Joe about keeping your meat safe. Know when you're gonna use it. Are you traveling with the meat? If that's what you're gonna do, vacuum seal is a machine that sucks the air out and gives you a good tight seal. This is freezer ready. Put it in the ice chest, make sure you have plenty of ice. Always remember to drain your water, guys. Water is not meat's friend. Meat freezes at 28 degrees, all right? So you wanna maintain 28 to 32, 35 degrees. A lot of guys put stuff in their trunk. We don't like that because it gets hot in your trunk. Butcher paper. This has no value other than covering your meat to get it home for the daily use, oh, okay? Freezer paper. So this is six month freezer paper. And if you wrap your steak correctly, it's good for about two days in the refrigerator, then you gotta go to the freezer. Anything else as far as when it comes to safety that you would advise okay. against? Change in temperature is never your friend, okay? And cross contamination is a big no-no. Make sure you clean out your ice chest after the fishing trip, guys. Mm -hmm. Wash them down, sanitize them. You wanna make sure you keep good cold ice, good clean ice. You wanna make sure that you have no drippage. $2 bag ice saves a bunch of meat. What about uh, poultry? Keep it cold, keep it clean, and keep it away from the red meat. Joe Doria, thank you very much for being with us on KSAT News at 9, Adulting Hacks. <laughs> <laughs>